Joe Biden is not running the country. It is a consortium of Barack Obama, Michelle Obama, with input from Nancy Pelosi, Heikem Jeffries, Elizabeth Warren, Bernie Sanders, and probably Chuck Schumer. And they, through, through Kamala Harris, are implementing policy with veto power as Roman tribunes from the wealthy donor class, whether it's George Soros or whether it's the Silicon Valley mega rich, I don't know. But that, or the Fitz, Pitzer family, I don't know who the, which billionaire class, but it's the billionaire left-wing donor class, the congressional and Senate left-wing leadership right. and the Obamas, and they're running the country right now. And they're doing it through, I think, Kamala Harris's staff. As America faces political uncertainty and increasing public concern about leadership, Victor Davis Hanson offers a bold analysis. He argues that Joe Biden is not running the country. Rather, it's a group of powerful figures pulling the strings. Hanson believes this shadow leadership is enacting the most radical policies in U.S. history and that it represents a deep attack on democracy itself. Hansen predicts that the same power players will push him aside in favor of Harris, continuing the same strategy that got Biden elected, keeping the candidate out of the public eye while presenting a moderate front. In this stark critique, Hansen warns of a future where American voters have less control over their government and where political elites decide behind closed doors who will lead the nation regardless of public opinion. Those two, I don't think, are taking orders from Joe Biden or even Jill Biden. I think they are de facto working for this consortia, the new Harris. All the people that were in Biden's reelection campaign, right. uh, they've either quit or they've joined abandoned ship and they're working for Harris. And the Obamas are now overt. Their people are running the appointments and things like that. Yeah. So. What are, but the problem with this consortia is it's not public. But Joe is not, you heard him on the debate. He, he's not there. There's no there there. He's gone. Zilch, zombie, de facto construct. He doesn't exist as a president. And that's the height of the irony because we are what witnessing right now the greatest attack on democracy in our lifetime. We are witnessing a president who was put into power in the March 2020 primaries after he had not won a single primary in Iowa, New Hampshire, or Nevada. And the only reason he won in South Carolina is Ms. Representative Claiborne went to him and said, we want a left-wing DEI agenda and we will get black voters to come out and vote for you. And we will get all the other candidates, Mr. Buttigieg, Ms. War Ms. Ms. Warren and Bernie Sanders, who all have more delegates than you, they're going to vanish, presto, they, all at once. You're going to be the nominee. You're going to be president. We know you don't know where you are. We're going to tell you what to do. You're going to have the most hard left, race-obsessed, DEI woke agenda you've ever had. And we're going to, all you have to do is go through the motions. And that went on for three and a half years. And then they said, you know what? He's no longer a useful idiot. It doesn't work. Let's get rid of him. Well, he won't go. He says he's not going to go unless God comes. Well, then we're going to be God and come down and tell him <laughs> to go. And so they said, Joe, 25th Amendment, cabinet will vote. It'll go to the Congress. Don't think the Republicans won't salivate and get rid of you. Yeah. So do you want to go? You want to be president? Because we feel that we have contempt for the American people. It's much more important that we have a fit candidate as our party's nominee for president than it is that we have a fit president for the rest of the people. We don't care if you're senile, demented, unhinged, non compos mentes, and you're president of all the United States. We do care if you're going to head the party that way and lose the election. So you're out. And now, Kamala, we don't like you. We don't want you. The, we know who you are. We've seen how you ran your 2020 destructive campaign. We've seen that you're a lightweight. You're out of your league. However, we can't get rid of a black 
incumbent vice president. So you're going to be the nominee and we're going to get all of the other challengers out in the next 24 hours. And we're going to give you all the delegates. And all you have to do is do what Joe did in 2020. You say you're a moderate, moderate, moderate. Got that, Kamala? You're a moderate. No more woke, no more I'm a radical, no more illegal aliens can't, don't say Merry Christmas. None of that. You are a moderate. Number two, you don't leave your basement. And if you do, you do not give interviews, town halls, lectures that are unscripted or unedited or are not, they're not pre pan You don't do that. And yes. then we ra will raise more money for you than and that's what we're going to do and you will be elected and you will be our useful idiot and that's what they're doing same thing she's as ling linguistically challenged as joe was <laughs> cognitive like, right cognitive, cognitively challenged and this is a, an attack on democracy it really is it's all done in the shadow and they basically said this we this coup, the donor class, the congressional grandees, the Obamas, we have contempt for all you people. And we don't give a damn about 14.5 million votes in the primary that went to Joe Biden. We could care less. They have no vote. From now on, if you vote in a primary and your candidate wins the delegates and he wins the primaries, he's headed for a sure thing. If he's behind in the polls, we can get rid of them anytime we want and mm -hmm. annoy. And that's what they did. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content.